uh, I didn't expect this audience today, and <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. And uh, well, I didn't prepare myself to to give this talk in English, or I don't know if you prefer I do it in Spanish, or or if you will understand that <laughs> in Spanish. But okay. Uh, well, I will try to to do it in English, just for yourself and my wife over here. <laughs> and uh, well, my name is Jose Davila, Jose Ernesto Davila, and I've been collaborating with the Ubuntu project for about uh, five years, and we started the Ubuntu local team in Nicaragua here. I'm one of the first members of the local team. And uh, I have been uh, collaborating in packaging with Ubuntu for about uh, one and a half year. And I found myself in the, in the need to, to submit some fixes and bug fixes uh, to Debian. And that's why I'm giving this talk today. Uh, okay, I have a quote from Mark Shuttleworth, uh, the founder of the Ubuntu project and, and a Debian developer. And uh, he said once that uh, every Debian developer is an uh, Ubuntu developer because the best way to improve Ubuntu or collaborate with Ubuntu is to, is to collaborate with Debian. And uh, I have read a, a couple of blog, of blog spots from some Debian developers, and one of them is Rafael Herzog, and who have uh, joined the, the Ubuntu community, even though he expresses himself that all the technical uh, improvements he, he does will be to Debian. And he was accepted as an Ubuntu developer, and and everything is going, it's going fine. And, and he has a, a, a nice, a very nice blog, blog post in, in where he explains what he did. And well, the content of my talk is, is about three subjects. And one of them is uh, the relationship between uh, Ubuntu and Debian. And, and then how can you collaborate with Debian from Ubuntu? And then we have a, some time for questions. Uh, okay, so let's see how is the relationship with, within uh, Ubuntu and Debian. Well, Debian it, it's the the rocks where uh, Ubuntu sits, and Debian uh, it's a rock solid operating system, and the, it, it, there are uh, a lot of of contributors that are volunteers, the, they don't receive a salary, they don't have a payment for collaborating with, with Debian. And Debian is well known for, for, it, for his strong commitment with the free software uh, philosophy. And the uh, Debian free software guidelines, it's well known uh, around all the free software communities. And uh, Ubuntu is an operating system based on Debian. It, it imports uh, most of its packages from, from Debian at the beginning of, of its release cycle. And um, Ubuntu has uh, predictables and frequent releases. We have a, a release everything, every six months. And every two years, we have a long-term support release. And, and a, a difference with Debian, uh, Ubuntu receives the, the collaboration, the support from a company called Canonical, which, uh, which offers uh, corporate, uh, uh, corporate uh, support for the, for the distribution. And well, uh, another difference between Ubuntu and, and Debian is the there are in, in Ubuntu there are uh, some uh, a team of developers called the 
the Ubuntu core developers who works 24-7 uh, for, for Ubuntu, they get paid for that. But not all the, not all the developers are, are paid. They have uh, some uh, volunteers, call it the master of the universe, and, um, or Motu for, for short. And um, well, how can we contribute to, to Debian from Ubuntu? Well, uh, at first you can forward bug uh, reports and patch, uh, patches that fixes uh, bugs from Ubuntu to, to Debian. And you have to be sure and check, uh, double check that the bug or fix applies to Debian. And, and all, all this stuff, you have to do it by email. The Debian bug tracking systems works uh, uh, from a series of comments. You have to type in the, in the content of your email. And that sometimes is not that friendly. Especially, well, I, I have myself found, found reading the, the manuals every time I have to fill a new bug. And, and well, for new people who are, are not well experienced in, in, in this topic, this can be a little tricky. Uh, but well, uh, to make this more friendly for the developers, uh, Ubuntu created a package called the Ubuntu Dev Tools, where you have a series of scripts that help you interact with the Debian bug tracking system, and you can forward uh, patches or uh, to the BTS if the if the packages are ready in Debian because sometimes you have packages that exist in Ubuntu but they are not in in Debian so if the package is in Debian you can use the submit to Debian script to to forward uh, all the modifications you do with to a Debian package to the Debian BTS so that is what what the this uh, this script does. And, and you have a couple of things to keep in mind when you are forwarding uh, box reports to Debian. And you always have to mention that you're, you are testing this fix or you're test, you found this, this bug in, in Ubuntu. And you have to double check, as I said before, that, that the fix or the bug applies to Debian. And we have some obligat obligatory reading for this and uh, how to report uh, bugs uh, effectively. And there is the link where you can read that. And well, another way to, to improve Ubuntu from Debian is uh, to upload new packages to Debian. And this is the, the general rule now in the Ubuntu community. Every time you say, hey, I have a new package and I want to upload it to Ubuntu, they, the, the developer says, okay, upload it to Debian and we will sync this to, to Ubuntu in the next release cycle. And, and as I said, the, the new package is once accepted in Debian, once they are in the, in the Debian archives, uh, you have the, the Ubuntu gets the, the packages uh, automatically at the beginning of the release cycle in the f first alpha release, I think. And then you can request to, to sync or merge the packages uh, when the Debian import freeze uh, get in, in time. And uh, I have found that a better way to, to get new packages into Debian is joining an, a Debian packaging team. Right now, I am I am part of the Python applications packaging team, and and well, I I've been interacting with the with the team to to get the package I maintain in the Debian archives, and it's well. I I, I think when I started to collaborate to Debian, I thought that it's going to be hard, partly because well, there is always the we will talk about it later. The, there is always the, the the idea that we have an intricate relationship, but uh, joining a packaging team is, is is the best way, I think. 
And like I say, we have to kill the troll. And <laughs> because there, there's still uh, people thinking that Debian um, um, and Ubuntu have a stormy relationship, a very strong relationship. And that is, that is not the case. There, there are, uh, well, we have a Spanish <laughs> audience now. <laughs> we can start again? Well, okay, thank you. Uh, bueno, I will continue in Spanish for <laughs> the new audience. <laughs> uh, bueno, como les decía, en, en la cuestión de colaborar con, con Ubuntu y Debian, hay que matar al troll. Tenemos que, que quitar ese, esa idea de que Ubuntu y Debian tienen una relación tormentosa. Eso no, no es el caso. Y bien, eh, Benjamin Hill ha hecho o ha escrito un, una, un artículo que se llama To Fork or Not, or not to Fork, eh, les, lecciones aprendidas desde de, de Ubuntu y Debian, en el que trata muy exhaustivamente cómo surge esta relación entre Ubuntu y Debian y cómo se ha logrado manejar esa, esa, eh, esa tarea de colaboración. Eh, entonces les recomiendo mucho leer ese artículo. Eh, y bueno, la verdad es que eso es lo que yo les tenía preparado para hoy. Quería dejar un bastante espacio para preguntas o para la siguiente charla. Entonces, no sé si tienen preguntas. Uh, la mayoría creo que estuvo un poquito tarde. Well, <laughs> well, I have this time for questions and I don't know if you have any. Sí, está, está encendido. Acércate Yo siempre pensé, ahí. Yo siempre pensé que para que los paquetes nuevos estuvieran en Ubuntu, yo pensaba que siempre tenían que estar en Ubuntu primero y hasta después ir a Debian. Y lo que explicaste es que en realidad el proceso contrario. Sí. Van primero a Debian y luego Ubuntu decide incluirlo. Sí. sí eh, bueno, mira, yo me he visto en dos veces en el caso de subir un paquete a, a Debian, una actualización de un paquete. O sea, el, hay una nueva versión upstream. Entonces la empaqueté para Debian, eh, hice la solicitud de, porque bueno, yo no soy Debian Maintainer ni Debian Developer, entonces necesito un, un sponsor para poder subir mis paquetes a Debian. Y a veces sucede que haces la solicitud, pero pasa mucho tiempo y no, no te responden. Entonces ahí sí vos podés decir, eh, solicitar ayuda pues en Ubuntu, y decir, mira, yo tengo mi paquete, aquí está el, el enlace al reporte del book donde solicité el sponsorship. Y ya lleva seis meses, ocho meses ahí y no pasa nada. Entonces, eh, quiero subirlo directamente a Ubuntu. Entonces, ahí surge una, bueno, lo que le llaman divergencia. ¿no? Si tenés un paquete, bueno, los paquetes en Debian casi siempre la versión tiene la versión upstream, guión 1, guión 2, guión 3. Y en Ubuntu sucede que está versión upstream, guión versión Debian y después dicen Ubuntu algo. Entonces, los paquetes que dicen Ubuntu algo son los que se modificaron en, en Ubuntu. Pero eh, actualmente son, ya es menor esa cantidad pues porque la comunidad ha trabajado mucho en que todo pase directamente por Debian. Y otra pregunta es que, o sea, te enfocaste bastante en lo que era paquete. Sí. ¿Otro tipo de colaboraciones se pueden hacer desde otras distribuciones, desde otros sistemas operativos? Yo creo que no, no hay, un, o, o la comunidad de Debian sí tiene una limitante, que si va a cooperar en traducciones, tenés que usar Debian, si va a cooperar en... Eh, bueno, mira, yo no he trabajado mucho, o no he aportado mucho en, ese, en esa línea de, de traducciones o de, o de Arte, algún otro, escribir sí. documentación, por ejemplo, no, nunca me, me he metido a eso, pues yo he estado mucho en lo que es empaquetado. Eh, pero no, no conozco cómo es el, el método, tal vez este, en la charla de, que hay de traducción podemos ver eso, porque incluso yo me he preguntado lo mismo, ¿qué pasa con las traducciones que vos haces en Ubuntu? Eh, ¿Se suben a Debian o, o pasan directamente a Upstream? No, no estoy seguro y no te sabría. Sí, porque ya sabemos que las traducciones en Ubuntu es una plataforma web, mientras que sí. yo sé que es por archivos de juego y con sistema de control de versiones. Bueno, sí, eso. entonces, no. bueno, eh, 
Si no hay más preguntas, no sé. Uh, I wouldn't have questions left. Well, I think that's it. Thank you. Muchas gracias. <laughs>